Hello everyone, this is the second video of PCB design tutorial. Today we will start learning about NI design suite. The very first step is to draw your circuit in the software itself. Such a circuit is called schematic diagram. NI design suite has two parts, multisim for schematic design and simulation and ultiboard for PCB layout design and Gerber export. So for this video we will open multisim. Once opened, sometimes you may find a new design file is open by default, but that is not always true. So let us first close this file and start from the scratch. On the main page, in the highlighted area, there is option to initiate a new design or open recently saved design. Currently, there is none because this is a new installation. A new design can also be initiated from file menu or there is new design shortcut as well or keyboard shortcut control plus N. Initiating new design user can give you again option depending on version in use. In version 13.0 along with option to open new or recent design we have installed template which is basically set of pre-installed PCB layouts in which you can fit your circuit and then my template which is similar to install template only difference is you have to design and save such templates for later usage. For now we will create a new design. A design is like a sheet on which we can draw a circuit. Within a sheet zooming in and out is possible using mouse scroll. Pressing the home button aligns the sheet to the left corner. The design toolbox displays all the open design and pages inside the design. The importance of this panel will be visible when we will deal with multiple designs or design with multiple pages. Coming back to most important feature where from we can get components. For that option 1 go to place tab select component. Option 2 keyboard shortcut control plus W. Option 3 right click on main sheet to get to component database. The component database opens like a pop up window. There are three databases available master, corporate and user. Master database contains all the components imported to your system during installation. Corporate and user database are to be made by you or your company. So they are empty for now. Let's go back to master database. Within a database, a group is a subdivision containing particular set of component families. For example, if you choose source group, you will get all kind of voltage and current sources. Inside a group, same type of components are kept in a lot named family. Within the family, you get the components. As for the example, we will choose signal voltage source family. We get all kind of AC, DC, pulsed or step voltage sources, which can be used as test input signal. The group name basic contains all passive components like register or capacitor. Here we have chosen 100 ohm for placement. After every placement, the database window keeps popping out. Escape button can be used to close the database window. A double click on component shows all its properties. Most important property is the value. Whatever value you have chosen during selection, you can change it at property of the component. So if you want to change some value in later stage of designing, all you have to do is go to property and change as per your calculation. Now to join components by wire, go to desired pin of the component, wait for the marker to look like a node, then use left click, press once and release. It initiates a wire which moves with the pointer. If you like one specific route, use single left click again and the wire gets placed till that point. Now reach a desired pin of another component and a left click. As simple as that. No software is more convenient in this feature. When the design gets bigger, you may not like the default sheet size. Using options tab, we can change that. From options to sheet property to workspace. Here you can choose any sheet size as per your requirement. Again remember to use mouse scroll to zoom in and out. That's it for today. We have made separate videos for every step forward. Check the title for topic of your interest. If you are learning from scratch, watch them one by one in given sequence. And don't forget to share and subscribe.